In this video we're going to look at how you complete the football league table and to do this we're going to need to use both relative absolute and relative cell references. So first of all we're going to fill in this uh, column here the, uh, for the matches played and the way we do that is we're going to take simply add up the uh, number of games won, lost and drawn. And the, because we've got three values we're creating a total of those three values so we're going to use the sum function. This is really easy you just go into the uh, cell in question, type in equals sum, open brackets, and then I'm going to use, do a slightly different thing here. I'm going to click on the uh, 8, because Southampton have won 8 games, and then I'm going to drag across to until I include the cell drawn. And you'll notice it's, uh, it's filled it in, it's worked out that I want the range from C7 to E7, the colon um, symbol here, uh, signifies that this is a range, uh, that this is the start cell, and this is the end cell for the range. Now, having written that, I'm not even going to type in the last bracket. I'm just going to press Enter, and Excel will auto complete that. Now, because in here, uh, I've just typed in C7 and E7. These are relative references. They mean, um, if you look at over here, it's highlighted in the area in blue. It's saying go to the left of the cell you're in, relatively to your left, and just add up those values. So, what that means is that if I use the fill handle uh, by moving my clicking on the cell and then moving my mouse to the bottom right until I get the thin black cross and I drag down, it will, uh, not only will it copy the formula down, it will also edit it as it copies it down to make sure that it always uh, uses cells that are on the same row. So if, for example, I look for Leeds United here and click on the 13 and then click up here in the formula bar, you'll notice that it's adding up the uh, cells to the left of uh, Leeds United. So that's the uh, matches played. Now look, we've got to work out the points. Now we've got a little tariff up here that tells us how many points we get for winning, losing and drawing. Uh, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go to uh, click on the um, points up here. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to multiply the number of games won by uh, three, uh, multiply the number of games drawn by one, and the number of games lost by zero. I'm going to use um, and I need to make sure that I'm using the cell references and not the values 3, 1 and 0 because we might change those in the future. So I'm going to start writing my formula. I'm going to go up into the formula bar and type in equals. And then I want to multiply the games 1. And I'm going to multiply that. So I type in the multiply sign. And then I click on the cell for games 1. And I'm going to press enter and that will finish off that formula. Now I'm going to edit that formula by, if I double click on the cell, you can see we can build the formula in here. And then I'm going to add to that and I'm going to multiply uh, games lost, take so games lost, and I'm going to multiply that by the points for loss, which is zero over here. So D7 times by uh, the uh, J7 over here. J9, sorry, my mistake. Now we're going to add to that number of games drawn, which is E7. And we're going to multiply that by points for draw, which is currently one. And we're going to press enter. Now, looking at that formula for a moment, one thing you should always consider is that we've got multiply sign and a plus sign in the formula. You need to remember order of precedence, bid mass, and uh, because multiplication happens before addition, uh, we're actually okay. We don't need brackets in this formula. So I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to click here and I'll use the fill handle to copy down. But you'll notice down here we've got some rather interesting values. For example, we can see that Newcastle United has scored 42 points. West Ham United have got 36, and Arsenal, um, despite having drawn three games, they've got no points. So clearly something's gone wrong. Let's have a look at what's happened with um, West Ham. So we're going to click on the 36, and then I'm going to click in the formula bar, and you'll see what it's actually done is it's taken the three cells to the left here, containing 6, 1, and 4, and it's multiplied those by these values down here. So it's getting, I'm getting six points for a win, nothing for a lose or draw, because as I've copied my formula down, Excel has um, edited the formula and changed it to move the cells down. You can see it here, perfectly illustrated leads. It's using the cells to the left, and then it's going across and it's moving everything down. So if we just go down one row, you'll see that everything was displaced by one. Two rows, and everything's been displaced by two. So what we want to do with this is we want it to always stick to using these cells here. And the way we do this is using a relative cell reference. Now, cell references, if we look at the formula, are a letter and then a number. So what we do is wherever we want the computer to stick 
to using the same letter, the same number, we've got a dollar sign in front of the letter or the number. So in this case, J7 is the cell containing the points for win. So this is this one here. We're going to change this. We're going to put a dollar before the J and then we put a dollar before the 7. And now the computer will always stick to using J and stick to using 7. It won't let those change. If I go over to here to the J9, I put a dollar in front of the J and a dollar in front of the 9. Uh, these ones refer to the points for a lose down here. And then if I go to my over here, I want the points for a, a, a draw. I'm going to put a dollar in front of the J and a dollar in front of the A. And then when I press enter, the, the value hasn't changed because it's just sim simply telling the computer where to get the numbers from. We're going to click on here. We're going to use the fill handle to drag down. And you'll now notice that it's calculating all the points correctly. And we can just check this. Let's check for West Ham again um, up here. And we can see these values on the left are being multiplied by the values in the table. So that's uh, that's everything's good, good there. So as you can see, the if you've uh, done your, made your spreadsheet up and you've got the right answers, uh, we should have a score of eight. If I go in and I let's change the results so that they reflect what would really have happened if uh, we'd been playing this game. Down here we've got West Ham United. They have currently lost a game. Well, clearly that can't happen. So they're gonna they haven't lost any games, but they've won ten games. Uh, no, they've actually won. Um, I think they've won nine games uh, and we press enter, we'll see they've got 31 points and you'll notice that although um, I, because I changed the values here, it's recalculated uh, played, it's recalculated points um, it, and it did that because the formulas only refer to the cell references up here, they don't refer to the specific numbers in the cells and that's one way you can check that you've made uh, the formula correctly.